What's I our website discovered again? this app, and it's the coolest thing ever. Especially if you have a if you have a backyard or plants or anything like that. I mean, I'm I'm spending all my time watering plants right now. Can't wait for the water bill to come out because it's trying to keep everything alive with no rain. Right. This thing is called Plant Snap, and it is exactly what you think. It's a, you can get it in Google Play for an Android based phone or the App Store for iPhone. I believe it's three ninety nine. Pretty sure it is. And you download the app. And you got a plant in your backyard, and you don't know what it is? You think you've got giant hogweed in your backyard? Or is that the one that causes, like, the yeah, blindness like and Yeah, like terrible stuff? burning, and yeah. it's awful. You think it's poison ivy? Take a picture of the leaf of the flower, and it'll tell you what it is. That right there is worth the $4. Because it's, if you've ever had poison ivy, which I haven't. Uh, okay. You're right. And, I, and, I, and somebody, I've had poison ivy before, s- severely. And I'm always like, oh, my God, I think that's poison ivy. And my wife would be like, no, nah, I don't think it is. Yeah, I'm telling you it is. Go ahead, touch it. You know, <laughs> she won't touch it. But um, So is that how you discovered this egg? I, I had, uh, so the, the white birch tree that you, that fell down and you cut up, there's now a bush growing there. And it doesn't look anything like the leaves on a white birch tree. So I took a picture of the leaf to see what, what is this thing growing? Should I let it continue to grow or is it just weeds? Turns out it is... A uh, it's a European white birch, so it's uh, growing so back. It's growing back. Uh, really? It's about three feet tall now. Get out! Um, but uh, did, did, I found, and then the picture that is on the website. If you look at our website, um, there's a, a flower that we have. It's a hanging basket type flower, and it has these like pink. You have to look at it. They look like caterpillars. Yeah, hanging from it as flowers. It's a really cool plant. I have no idea what it is. I don't know what it is. Those My are, wife doesn't those aren't know. caterpillars. They're not caterpillars. They look like caterpillars. <laughs> they do. They're all over. Um, it is called the red hot cat's tail. I just took a picture of the leaf, and it came up. That is we, insane. Uh, maybe next hour we'll go out and, and you can try the. Uh, we'll try the app and pick something. But here's the best part: when we moved <laughs> onto the onto the property last year, there there was before I did any excavation, there were these plants that were coming up, and it looked like marijuana. So I said to my wife, I think we've got pot growing in the backyard. And she said, no, I don't think that's pot. So I took a picture of it, <laughs> and I sent it to somebody who I know would know. <laughs> Let's and, leave it at that. <laughs> and, they're like, and they're like, no, that's not marijuana. So I got thinking about this when I was writing the story. It's on our website right now, wibx950.com. Uh, I got thinking about it. I say the picture is submitted. Yeah, it's submitted by me. Um, but I, so I went back and I searching and searching to try to find this photo. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure it was like May or June of last year. I found the photo. So you can either, you could take a picture, a photo that you have like that day, or you can actually take a a picture that moment. But I went back to last year, pulled up this picture that I'd sent to my friend, popped it in and look what came up. According to the app, it is well. It's up there. It's it's marijuana. That is crazy. Isn't that wild? I yeah. love all the names like cannabis sativa, common name marijuana, right. kingdom, information about it. It gives you all of this information. It's really it's a cool app. And some cases, it could be something that could uh, that could be helping you, like to avoiding um, the the giant hogweed, or avoiding poison ivy, or avoiding arrest from the d- drug enforcement <laughs> <Yeah>. agency. <laughs> Or even uh, yesterday, we had survival tips with Hobika, and we talked about the cactus. you got to know what cactus you, know. you can as long survive. As you have this app with you, you know what the plant is. Uh, co- the, uh, the, I almost called him congressman. He had a shot at it. He decided not to go for it. Uh, Tony Pesenti is the county executive and is on the line here now. Good morning, Tony. Good morning. How are you? Well, it's uh, interesting discussion you're having there, but well, I, won't, I won't dive into it. The, the, the app is called, what is it again? Plant Snap. Yeah. Plant Snap. Yeah, you got to, because you you never know. When you see a plant popping up, you don't know what it is. Now for the latest on story of uh, of the story of Bill growing weed in his backyard. (laughs) uh, County executive. Uh, So tell me uh, your take on, um, I I will say that the congresswoman is pointing fingers at Anthony Brindisi, saying he was the enabler for Calieros and uh, the rest of them. Uh, What's your take on the conviction yesterday? Well, I'm really not surprised. I think everything had been lined up pretty well by, you know, what was seen and what, you know, we saw before the trial and even during the trial in terms of 
communications and you know the various ways in which uh, things were laid out. So um, I'm not I'm not surprised at all. I, I think that uh, you know what you know what was done clearly was you know egregious and clearly yeah. was outrageous. But um, and uh, look at it, it, the you know it's. Uh, when you put uh, people in charge of economic development that shouldn't be in charge of economic yeah, yeah. development. And that's what I said, you know, several months ago or a year ago when, or, or more when this happened. And, and it's, uh, you know, it's proven, it's, it's proven to be the case. Well, it so, does have put a bit of a magnifying glass on, on nano here on AMS. And, and I, we can never forget the day you guys were in. And, sure, and sure. I'm saying to you, how, how could something like this happen? And the one place that you guys kept going to was Calieros, and they weren't getting back to you, and they weren't following through, and you knew that if something wasn't done, we are going to lose this deal. How sure. frustrated was dealing with Calieros for you guys? Well, it was, it, you know, it, 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 was, it was the best of both worlds, or the best and worst of both worlds, because in one, in one vein, you thought that you had someone who you know, was an expert in this, uh, in this uh, you know, uh, sector and uh, industry, and, and that, you know, could... Could help and, and uh, talk the you know talk the area, talk the business, talk the model. You know, yeah. you know had a had a successful model in Albany to to, to replicate that. You know, et cetera, et cetera. And on the other hand, you had someone who was very difficult to work for, with, and uh, then you know was you know involved as I mean we didn't know it at the time, obviously, or yeah. any of the time, but you know was involved in in this. And and the other thing that that shows uh, you know that. That comes out of this is you know the you know the uh, continued focus on this buffalo these buffalo projects and you know where ours was kind of put on the back shelf. Yeah. Um. I, I listen. We're in the midst of a of a campaign year, sure. and sure. you know your parents always tell you. Mm-hmm. Mine. My wife always tells me <laughs> it's the people you surround yourself with. Sure. And yep. how does this not land? I mean, it's one thing for Claudia Tenney to say. Anthony, this is Anthony Brindisi. He was the enabler. That's just ridiculous. But she but knows, she knows that too. And, and she knows better. In fairness, though, how do you, how does it not land on Cuomo's front well, desk? I mean, here? Look, how does, no, it, it, I mean it clearly does, and it clearly you know I mean lands, you know, in in terms of you know the entire you know the entire Sunni piece, you know everything that's happened you know uh, since then, you know, clearly with the previous uh, convictions of. Uh, the governor's, uh, yeah. uh, you know, assistance, uh, you know, so it, it clearly does. And, and, you know, while, you know, you're, he's not charged with anything, nor has he been accused of anything in that regard, it, uh, you know, look, it, it's, it's no different than any of us. It's, it's you know, the, where's the buck stop and, yeah. where, and who's, who's responsible? And so when, you know, and, and, you know, it's when you, you know, look, it's when you give your, you know, if the keys to the car, something happens, you're you're still responsible too. Right? Yeah. So it's unfortunate in that regard, and, and uh, yeah, it does. I mean, it, it's hard not to. Uh, it, you, there's no escaping it. Yeah, I, I will ask you um, that the last time Cuomo ran, uh, you were in a very tough position, sure. and that uh, this all of this nano was was pending. These big things were happening for here. A lot of money coming here. It seemed like a great deal of focus here. And uh, you gave an endorsement to uh, mm-hmm. to Andrew Cuomo. Uh, uh, here we are in another another uh, cycle. So where are you? Are you going to make an endorsement this time? You know, I, I you know we've been I, I've been talking about that, or we've been looking at that. In four years, I mean, look, a lot of changes, a lot of things change in four yeah. years, and and clearly, you know, I mean, we can uh, you know look at what's what's happened or what hasn't happened. So. I, that endorsement and those circumstances were about the times and what we were dealing with, and and clearly I could not, as as you say, I could not stand up there and, and point at at someone who had been, you know, very helpful to us and who yep. had, you know, we had settled the nation, the United Nation agreement, we had done pension reform, we had done some other structural pieces, we had worked on, you know, Nano was moving forward, Quad C was being built. You know, it's hard to turn around and say that. Yeah. Uh, you know, four years later, it's a different story and. Uh, you know, that's what politics is about. So, yeah. I mean, I haven't made any formal endorsement yet. I, Mark Molinaro is a great friend, and I've said that. He'd make a great governor. So, you know, I'm still a Republican. And uh, so we'll, uh, you know, the next uh, month or two, you'll, we'll, we'll see where we where we land. But you know, a- I, I'm, I'm cr- concerned because the, the issues of endorsements gets overplayed. And, yeah. and look, it's no news if I, if I, you know, I mean, if I 
if I do nothing, everybody's going to wonder. If I do something, they're yep. going to, you know, they're going to point either way. So you're in a catch twenty two, and I, I knew that the last time, and uh, you know that's that's the difficulty of this business. But you know, I'm going to do what's right for my community, as as I did in, hey, I, I did four I, years, I, as I did four years ago, because yep. it's not personal gain. I I got nothing out of that, mm-hmm. and then no, nor did I seek anything. And all I saw and all I continue to do uh, for, is see what's best for my community yep. and how we can move forward. I, I will tell and I'll you, do the same thing. I will tell you that I, I say the same thing today. I thought it was a brave move knowing you're going to get hammered. Mm-hmm. As a Republican, you are going to get sure. hammered for endorsing sure. Andrew and I Cuomo. Still get, I still get hammered yeah. today for it. But, I, you know, and look, I don't, I don't look back and say it was a mistake because uh, I still go back to what, you know, what we did at that yeah. time. Yeah. Now, you know, times change. Four years is a, is a long time. And a lot of things change. Things change in one year. So, sure. you know, it, there's nothing to be, you know, uh, you know, I'm not not shying away from anything. I'm not, or, or reje- you know, rejecting that, yep. that piece at all. Um, but, you know, it's it's a different time now. And I've got to look at what what moves us forward now. And Molinero's a guy that's, uh, listen, he's not ignoring this area. He was at the Boilermaker. This is his second time being at the Boilermaker. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's a yeah. very likable guy and seems to be smart and know what he's doing. I... I I think this guy has uh, got some promise. Mark is, and I've said this before. Mark is is the real, is the real thing, and and he has done a great job, and he's been, you know, he's committed his life, you know, in in, in government and and for the right things, and he's made great strides in Dutchess County, and he's been a leader in the state with us on a lot of things. So, as I said before, he he would, you know, and he will make a great governor, and and I think that you know the you know this is a this is a this is a different time, uh, four years, and a lot has changed, not just yep. uh, obviously on the statewide level, but nationally. So, mm-hmm. you know, there's a lot of different, you know, uh, for all of us, whether it's local or, or state or, or national, it's uh, a different time to run for office. And a lot of different uh, views are going to be expressed, and people are going to look at things a lot differently than they did in the past, and they because they've done that yep. in the last year. Uh, con- uh, County Executive Tony Pisani, thanks for taking the time. I appreciate it, Thank as you. always. Thank you. And okay. last-minute notice, thanks so much. I, no I problem. appreciate that. No All problem. Right. Good talking uh, to you.